All right, today I'm going to teach you how to set up your tubeless tires. So what you're going to need for setting up your tubeless tires is of course some tubeless sealant. You can get various different brands. Um, when you buy this Swalby one, you get this little bottle that helps you put the sealant down through the valve, which is pretty good. You can also do that with this orange seal. Um, of course, you'll need some tubeless tape. This is just some from orange seal. I like the DT Swiss ones better. I think it seals really well and it kind of sticks more than, than this one and other brands. Make sure you get it in the right width for your rim. You'll probably need some tire levers like these Maxxis ones. You'll need some tubeless valves. If you don't have any tubeless valves, you can do it with just an old tube and then just cut out the valve from there. It's not as good, but it'll do. You'll need, also need a valve core remover. This is for removing well, the core of the valve. So you put it on here and you then unscrew the valve core. So you can put this out and then you'll have way better opportunity to get loads of air in through this valve and then just seed the tire. Of course, you'll also need some tubeless tires. You can see on the side of these Swalby tires, it says tubeless ready. I've set up a lot of Maxxis tires as well, which are not tubeless ready necessarily. These downhill tires, for example, they're not tubeless ready, but they're set up just fine anyway. Also, you'll need a compressor or some sort of tubeless pump. I got this tubeless pump from Bikester. It's pretty cool. It has a little switch up top where it says four tire or four tank. So if I set it over for tank, I can pump up the pressure inside the pump which means I can get up to 240 PSI inside the pump, then put it on the valve and release it all into the tire at one time, which makes it pop pretty easy. So what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna take your wheel, you'll get off the old tire, take the tube out, maybe save the tube, maybe you can use that later, bring it for a ride. As you can see, my rims are already set up with some tubeless tape, so I don't have to put that on if your rims are not set up with the tubeless tape already, make sure that your rim is nice and clean and try to stretch your tubeless tape a bit just to make it sit better. If your tires sit pretty loose on your rim, you can give it a round or two extra of tubeless tape. Then your tire will sit a bit tighter and you won't burp as much. After that, you can cut a little hole and just jam your tubeless valve through the tubeless tape. Then you'll install your tubeless valve like so. You can see I have this little plastic spacer here because I have asymmetrical rims. So this makes it seal a bit better on these rims. And after that, you'll install your tire. Just pop it on on both sides. If you don't have this little bottle that I have to squeeze in the tubeless sealant through the valve, you might as well just keep a bit of the tire open, pour the tubeless sealant into there and then just pop the tire all the way on. After that, we'll remove the valve core. After that, we'll get our compressor on or get our tubeless pump on, pump up the pressure and then release it all into the tire. Hopefully it'll pop on like this pretty easy. After that, we can just take the pump off, all the air will go out. You can fill in the tubeless sealant. After you put in the tubeless sealant, put the valve core in again and then pump up to your desired pressure. I like to pump up to like 40 or 50 PSI to start with, just to make sure it seals. Make sure to give it a good shake to get the sealant all the way around the tire. Make sure it seals everywhere. If you have a little dent in your rim, it might be harder to seal there and you can put a little extra sealant in. I like to put around 100 milliliters in like an Enduro tire. You can go with less, you can go with more. That's just my desired amount. Then when you have your tires installed nice and clean, just get out on the bike and try to rev them off again. I hope you liked this video. Write down in the comments if you want to see something else. If you have any ideas I should try to make, I'll try to do that. Um, maybe some more how-tos, I don't know. Just stay tuned and see what comes.